hello, and welcome to Volume 2 of Batman The Telltale Series, The Enemy Within. Now this takes place where Volume 1 ended off, and I do believe it's going to get dark. Let's do it. So, we're actually going to continue where I last left off, namely from what I did in Season 1. So, let's do that. Don't import my save, please. start off with oh how many we got the enigma the pact fractured mask what else and same stitch <clears throat> so now we're gonna start off with episode one mentioned continuing from where we last left off with season one the enigma one of gotham's oldest and deadliest criminals has returned batman must work with allies old and new to stop this growing threat Sunsault Batman this time. We did classic Batman, now we're doing Sunsault Batman covers. One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes. Wait, let me do something real quick. changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman. But they would not be the last. Mainly as a recreation. Spring has one. arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, 
Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import export magnet, one time Pipex CEO, international arms dealer. The world sees Mori as a legitimate businessman, a philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence, a masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. It's hard not to become the mask. At least a little. I can believe it. We are what we do, after all. With you, I question whether Batman is the cover or Bruce. Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Maury's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham, they happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. Well, looks like Roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky, but then you don't need luck when you own the house. He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he is not one for pinching pennies. Hello. Consumer model. Could be a good way to hear Maury's conversation. So, let's hack. Oh, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with the bad. He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates me? Stay close and keep your head down. Excuse me? Bullets are about to fly. Okay. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go! Uh, wrong. The correct answer is, are you dead?
get out of there. Get your suit. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Who is it, sir? I'm like... Man, knocking him out like that. How did you do that? I had a different impression of you from TV. You never seemed that capable. Yeah, I'm a man of many talents. That's that's an understatement. Thank you. Commissioner Gordon on the line. Scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. Gear up. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Please, please. We can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone, fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind-bender that scratches at the... Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. The kind of conundrum that drives you to distraction. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. Believe me, I know. Remember, choose your words. Riddler's taken hostages, casino patrons, innocent bystanders. And they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. You can just solve. I will get bored. You won't like that. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. Hi. What the? Expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman! We can't get in! The front covered by gunmen and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We need a distraction. 
Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You, you're completely insane! No. I don't believe that's it. Oh. Oh. I'll clear a path. Wait for my seat. Give him hell. We're counting on you. K.O. Yo! Batman! You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! So I'm supposed to do the following. Batman! You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. Oh, I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Feeding my goddamn porridge. This is my city! Now I'm back. Gotham has forgotten you, Riddler. Crawl back under your rock before you get hurt. <laughs> Says the man with a hook at his throat. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Gordon, Yet here no. you are. Smoke bomb! Oh, you have to be kidding. Okay. Clever, but not smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. serious <laughs> brawling like a common 
and street hood. It just doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it for me. Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point. Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you're a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Mori made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. You thought that stunt with Mori would cover your escape. I wanted to show you I could save him and still catch you. I don't have to compromise. You haven't caught me yet. Nothing I've seen so far suggests you will. scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. All in a day's work. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. 
we'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody, not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Nothing Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use health dragging him down. We got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. Arrogance like that will be his undoing. He keeps showing off he's bound to make a mistake. Yep. Well, maybe, but we can't underestimate him. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw... He hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way, I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary bad man. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I haven't had the pleasure of an introduction, Miss... A pleasure, huh? Most people don't usually call it that. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them, give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler. They're kind of our specialty. Sounds like the expertise we need. Keep that attitude and we'll get along just fine. We're not always welcomed with open arms. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back. And if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. Seems that way to me. We should work together to bring Riddler in. Don't be too hasty, Batman. The agency has a rep for being ruthless. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate that says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? You can't put this on Jim. I call for a distraction. Then maybe you're not as impressive as I thought. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Maury while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. Mm. This is our town. Mm. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it, he's changed. Uh -huh. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Mm. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He's a madman. You can't look for reason in someone so clearly deranged. Riddler does show signs of an obsessive compulsive disorder. But he's calculating, fiercely intelligent. Still a madman. I'd be surprised if this wasn't part of a bigger plan. Let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. Mm. I'm going.
Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. Hmm. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. You can't go two city blocks in Gotham without tripping over criminal scum. Most people just get up and run away. I'm not most people. I think I know you a little better now. Hmm. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, mm -hmm. Gotham's your city. I respect that. Mm -hmm. But you should know I don't have to play nice. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is going to become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. I'm just going to say bye. Episode one. The Enigma. Beneath Wayne Banner. an eventful evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. You know what? I feel the need for some... Um, something with a beat. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. Well, the one thing I just didn't really like was this setup here. Ah, uh, Selena. She'll turn up again. I'm looking forward to it. Selena Kyle came to Gotham to perform a number of robberies for the children of Arkham. Though she eventually helped me stop them. She left Gotham during Lady Arkham's final assault on the city, and I don't know when she'll ever return. Despite our differences, I enjoyed sparring with her. Two Face. Harvey Dent, corrupt mayor of Gotham. Harvey Dent was once a promising mayoral candidate. I supported his campaign and his vision for Gotham. After he was attacked by the children of Arkham, he became Two-Face, a violent and deeply paranoid criminal. During his brief stint as mayor, he used his authority to enforce martial law throughout the city. Penguin. Oswald Cobblepot, revolutionary. Oswald Cobblepot was a terrorist, anarchist, and my oldest friend. Born to one of Gotham's most prestigious families, he lived abroad after his mother was committed to Arkham Asylum by my father. He returned to Gotham to join the children of Arkham, seeking revenge on my family for destroying his Lady Arkham, formerly known as Vicky Vale, terrorist leader. Vicky Vale was a well-known and respected reporter at the Gotham Gazette, but she was born Vicky Arkham short for Victoria. She created her alter ego, Lady Arkham, and her terrorist organization, the Children of Arkham, to destroy Gotham's elite. I defeated her, but I don't know if she's alive or dead. Her body was never found. Explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. 
I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It, it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Your family, Alfred. We worry about family. Thank you, Bruce. It'll pass. Working always helps. public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. Well, things won't be easy with a bunch of spies nearby. They're well-equipped spies, too. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to talk to Lucius about upgrades. Try and level the playing field. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Maury. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden. To get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. His victims are the ones who need help. I'll concede you have a point. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. <laughs> I take everything back. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. along the rim. 
I have an eye yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Have an eye that cannot see. Who am I? Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though, not one. So it's something else. One eye jack. He gave this to me at a casino. Hard games. Maybe a jack. Specifically a one-eyed jack. But he's on the card twice, showing both eyes. Besides, he can still see. So it's probably not that. Eye of a hurricane. The eye of a hurricane. It fits the description in the riddle, but I'm not sure how it helps us. Storm. Even if there were hurricanes in Gotham, it's hard to imagine one helping us with the object in question. If that is indeed the key. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Never forget. Wait, we have something. It's a record, so... Record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. And don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear the city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound. What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne now.
Oh, excellent. I'm glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and our stock price has doubled since you took the company back from Oswald Cobblepot. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? Uh, this is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. I don't want to act alive when I'm just bringing it to Lucius. Like, well, I asked if she could look this up for me. So. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Look at that. Micro pulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. Uh, no. And, uh, it's not one of mine. Think fast. Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. Okay. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look. Well, please just don't say old. Well, now that you mention it. Hey, play nice. Bruce has had a rough year. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together is kind of showing off. Huh, micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. Okay. Fine, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. 
I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he's having some issues with his health? He would love that. I hope he isn't still angry with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know, Al, no one messes with his dinner room. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Mm. Into the mission? Mm. We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. Mm -hmm. Well, if she's anything like you, she's better than me. Okay, then let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Oh, hi there. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. We met. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. Mm. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here. See you later, Lucius. Good chat. Oh, yeah. One of the best. Keep it short and sweet. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. Okay. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. No, this won't take long. This office, it really represents you. Oh, I'd like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Oh. Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You You're put one. yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. Mm -hmm. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, You've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. I hear that. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. Yeah, we were friendly. He showed me around Arkham. Is that right? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. 
Several people were hurt. I wasn't myself at the time, okay? I, I was... Drugged by Lady Arkham. I know the story. Okay. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Oh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Mm. It's clear you're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. Uh -huh. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. I'm not spying. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. I'm sorry, are you, are you accusing me of something? Should we be? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal. Like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. What are you talking? What did you figure out? Oh, shit. I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but... You just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius! We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman. killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprise's chief technology officer, Lucius Fox, died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Lucius, you were at the center of everything we do. He was truly one of a kind. I, I don't know what we'll do without him. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. He was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing, but this, this is personal. Mm -hmm. We can't let him get away with it. Mm -hmm. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this, none of this feels real. Your dad was 
like family to me. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom and that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Why, right, Bruce? What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you, just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. You want to know the truth? Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. Excuse me? <clears throat> John, can I talk to you a sec? Bruce! I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I'd love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, I know it's a close casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? I'm not like this. You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. Huh? I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. 
first time at a funeral, you see. He didn't know what to People do. get upset at the littlest things. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. Just like people on YouTube. <laughs> It's not like Arkham. <laughs> Sometimes I miss those padded walls. <laughs> you knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. <laughs> you can't possibly mean that. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend. A father. A husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. Oh, that favor. You know, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. That's You're right. sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I didn't agree to that. But you did help me out. Friends look out for each other. Am I right? And now he's gone. A vital link in our chain. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. Uh -huh. you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. So much fun. I knew this would work out. Yeah. This air between us, this is real. Uh -huh. You can't force this kind of friendship. Uh -huh. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys uh -huh. will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Uh -huh. Fine, just make it quick. Smile. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you though, I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I wanna rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer, and worst of all, he's He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. But I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. If I ever get my hands on him, I will tear him apart. Oh, you don't know how glad that makes you, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. Leave his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much.
I already said I mean your friends, John. Now tell me what you know. Jeez. <laughs> well, if it means that much to you. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. Right. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I asked. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that camera flash went unnoticed. Oh, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Parts of town that get ugly, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, makes you wonder what's next. Ah, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Now, I used to think having money like that solved all a man's problems. Turns out it just adds to them. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. construction site at the center of 46th, abandoned. Harvey's boys demolished that area, chasing the children of Arkham. There's nothing but a crater there. Not really a place for Riddler to have a hideout. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. If this leak pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? The way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. 
Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got a breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Notify Waller. She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come out. I told Waller about our lead on this place. She's caught up in briefings, can't get here for a while. She said she appreciates the cooperation. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Yeah, let's see. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vain, isn't he? house any day. Contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. Must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. Pocket. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one is almost completely melted through. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play alone. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. One shoe. 
melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. senses like the monkey statues you're right there must be a connection saves with electronic locks <sighs> shut tight these must be the goal of whatever game we're playing penalizing his victims for wrong answers. The agent must have been looking for the answer at one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Goes from his fingers. into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy. Ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Mm. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. Now this would explain the melted shoe. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't, so he threw off his shoe. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Maury, he 
you sold technology to Riddler. I'm gonna talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mari for a while now. She must have known. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues, they don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll kill each other. Sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. Lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. It's an agency issue pistol. That's a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He 
had the agent bound while he beat him. You got a VR in that cow or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. That will only mean he went over here. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers, and there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes, mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could- Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? Yeah. The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you, too. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Joe. Well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. That's a reason why we're here, right? speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, oh, damn it. It's still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. Like so. Explains the ears. Congratulations! You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? The real! Use it to open the safe! I'm gonna stop it!
that's the one. Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up before going dark forever. I'm closing in on you, Riddler. We escaped your twisted puzzle. It's only a matter of time before I find you. Time is one thing you don't have. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. Whatever the Agency is, you are worse. You're the one torturing and killing innocents. You think any of these agents are innocent? The agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. No, but this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. Mm. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see where the man who doesn't compromise actually draws his lines. But then... You already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! Leaves me to wonder, doesn't it? I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Mm. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower, you gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? 
Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you, it doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? Whatever you do, this has to stay between us. Oh, does it? Because I, what, just happened to stumble into it? I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. If you really think it's important this stays between us, then I won't say a word. Batman. I'm sorry for your loss. your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. Mm -hmm. I understand that, Bruce. He's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a large signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. With Lucius gone, we need to find someone to take over his role. No one could ever fill his shoes. But, but you're right. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, it's clear we're up against a new class of criminal. This war of ours, it may be too much for us on our own. Mm -hmm. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. Which goes to here. And he can broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes.
It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. You are a rock, Alfred. I'm always able to count on you, huh? Even in the toughest times. The last thing I want to do is let you down. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Oh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Let's just... We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Uh... I, uh, I, I, I shouldn't have watched this. I'll, uh, I'll go get that tea, Master Bruce. All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. Mm -hmm. And then match up the points found in both sound files. cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating the launch. Makes sense for me to have a signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with a signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Sound like my phone. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. You believe him? Mm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. 
I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach, peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant, Eli Namor, took a go at me in the casino, put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman, who's currently in Waller's custody in the GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabal there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. Size, just not gonna like it, but you know what? We didn't really get to know Eli on better terms. I'll talk to Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way. the deputy office. I'm sure he'd want to know you were here. Waller's agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. If they give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. They're running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. You have Eli Nabel in custody. Take me to him. Nabel's my prisoner, not hers. Says who? Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. Said he'd hit back if we got too close. Sounds like you need my help. If it gets my people back, then sure. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I'm here. Come on, then. Just remember, the commissioner likes things by the book. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. Did he say anything I should know? I take it Gordon mentioned my connection to Lucius Fox. Fox? No, he didn't. But now a lot of things make sense. Doesn't matter right now. We gotta put the screws on Nabel. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. If you impaled a 60-year-old man on a spike of rebar, well, you'll know how to deal with this punk. What's your point? Scare tactics? Use any means necessary. As long as you get Nabal to tell us where Riddler is. My agent's lives are at risk. The gloves have to come off. I'll get him to talk. Whatever it takes. You and me? We're doers, Batman. We know how to get things done. Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that oh, goddamn chair. <laughs> Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. 
if you worried what Gordon might think. I've got nothing to hide from Gordon or anyone else. Need anything else? You might hear some screaming in a minute. Pretend you can't. Glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. You you keep them, they keep her from killing me. Riddler said you had rules against that. Against killing. He's right about that, Eli. I don't deserve this. What do you deserve? I don't know. A lawyer? A, a trial? Basic human rights? Then tell me where he is. I... I can't. We don't have time to care for Batman. Only thing moving this mule is a big old stick. You get me? You already tortured him enough. What makes you think hitting him again will get results? I just assumed you'd hit him harder. Is your call? Just remember, the clock is ticking. Where is he, Eli? I already said I can't tell you. And I said it a million times to the guys before. The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. You've seen his machines. He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. Riddler just dabbles in pain, Eli. I've turned pain into an art form. You don't understand. Riddler has a plan that no one can stop. You can't beat him. He studied you too well. And the agency? <laughs> they don't have a chance. He can destroy them anytime he wants with a phone call. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that can save me if I cross him. Give him up, and I'll make that danger go away. No one else has to die. There's no getting away from him. He can be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. There's nothing you can do, Batman. We'll see about that. Wait, is that... That signal! You're calling a missile right to us! You got 90 seconds, Eli. Talk. Batman, shut that thing off right now! you you're insane! You'll kill us all! It's counting down, Eli. What are you going to do about it? You're bluffing. There's cops outside this door. You're gonna get us all killed! Maybe. Maybe not. But are you willing to take the chance? I'll tell you! Please, just, just make it stop! He's on a ship in Gotham Bay. What ship? Uh, the Lady of Dublin. The missiles are there, too. This is where they're launched from. Good. Good boy. You're crazier than he is. Thank you. Oh. Oh, God damn. The Lady of Dublin. Get back up and meet me there. Batman. Hmm. 
Gordon's still gonna be pissed you went around him. But I appreciate you holding back. Got the job done, didn't I? Spot for cover. All your idiot colleagues, too. And it's hard to blame individuals for institutional incompetence. The agency has a history of doing for it. Your agency has been on my heels far too long. I'll give it to you. You're relentless. I'll admit it's going to feel satisfying to get my revenge on your predecessors. Even if you're really just a small part, you brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clogs really thought you were smarter than me. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online. Ready, Bruce. Lock on! Let the hostages go, Riddler. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. is the shock device. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. <clears throat> Poor Eli held out longer than I expected. But I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. I heard a lot of people doing what I do. 
My code is how I stay human. <laughs> it's why I'm out here, and you're in there, about to meet your maker. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! <laughs> I designed this for you, Batman. The hero who doesn't have to compromise will die knowing he couldn't save everyone. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all. Ask your questions, Riddler. Let's get this over with. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd cooperate. But I don't think the Asian next to you shares your enthusiasm. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her? I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer. Please say it. My colleagues will die. Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... <sighs> Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two, also completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that. Please, don't let him die. Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! Ha. Here's your prize! Oh, Come on! What have you done? Enough, Riddler. You made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. You're much too slow, Batman. I think we're through. I'll fire one of the missiles. You're much too slow, Damn Batman. It. Man. I think we're through. I'll fire one of the missiles.
You're much too slow, Batman. I think we're through. You're much too slow, Batman. I think we're through. Just remember, how was it? How? I'll fire one of the missiles. Much too slow, Batman. Mm. I think we're through. Mm. I'll fire one of the missiles. You're much too slow, Batman. Where am I? I think looking? we're through. Okay, there has to be a way. I'll fire one of the missiles. Use the back end to make it target the cage. And use a Riddler's trap to protect Emon and myself from the explosion. There we go. I wasn't I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear from. Michelle armed, ready to fire. Who is the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. I am. What are you doing? That took me three times to figure it all out. Launch. <laughs> You're clever, don't you? You... you don't... I'm tired of your monologues. Who's the man? Who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman.
shouldn't be happening. Captain! Zubasa! yourself on the line for your friends. You saved them. Agent, are you okay? She can't hear. My ears! I can't hear! Cell. Well, congratulations, Batman. You managed, even in my twisted game, to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Avestus suffered, so no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? Imon knew the risks. She would have endured anything to bring you down. Sounds like you have good things to say about her. If only she could still hear you. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. What happened? I set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. Your comrades thought you went too far. I saw their messages. They were afraid your stunts would get my attention. They were right. They'll regret this. All of them. that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. Ship down. A radio for more medics. But Riddler, is he? Oh, God damn it. I hope it was worth it, Batman. Worth it. Riddler's a damn corpse. We got an agent bleeding from the years. We're not getting a shred of usable testimony out of Eli Naval. Not after you scared him half to death in my custody. You went behind my back with Waller and buried the investigation in the process. This... This is beyond the goddamn pale. What were you thinking? How could you undermine me like this? Well, I'm sorry, Jim. I didn't mean for this to happen. No, I'm the one who's sorry. The trust between us, it's gone. 
our partnership is over. No more sharing evidence. No more squad car backup. The GCPD can't support you anymore. We've done so much for Gotham, Jammer. Don't bring up our team over this. I... I can't work with someone who goes behind my back. And that's all there is to it. I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from me. You, on the other hand, Gordon, well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair. This mess here, that's on you. Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... Now, wait a damn minute. Your stonewalling the agency has screwed us all. You think you could have done better? Way I see it, there's one less bad guy in Gotham. I don't know whether I could have done better. I do know you could have. If we'd have been working together from the start. Why, you... Not another word, Commissioner. Consider it a kindness I don't just straight up get you demoted. Oh. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a clue. Not just any clue. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You've come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. Harley Quinn. She's very elusive. H. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. Oh, yeah, and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce. to happen so she's traumatized collaborative it is what it is vengeful oh, yeah. He'll get over it. It's kind of like this. It's going to get worse before it even gets better. That's how, that's how I see this. she chose to sacrifice. I mean, that's the way I see it. It's like, oh, I'm supposed to do what the script says? Please. So, we did what we had to do in episode one of The Enemy Within and Really, that's what it really is. So, on the next episode, we deal with 
the pact. Like I said, it's gonna get worse before it even gets better. But it is what it is. Anyway, stay tuned for more Batman, the enemy within. Stay tuned for the next episode. Same bat time, same bat channel.